So let's take another look um, at the intradural segments of the carotid, but this time from a surgical perspective. This is what's known as a frontoorbitozygomatic approach, where you, you do a terional approach, you remove the roof and lateral wall of the orbit, as well as the zygoma. Um, and once the dura is open here, uh, the sylvian fissure can be split, and this is what's known as a transylvian view. So here we have a right side sylvian fissure open. Here's our temporal lobe. Here's our frontal lobe. Here's our more distal sylvian segment of the MCA. So MCA aneurysm is very common. You can see uh, aneurysms uh, in this area too. And then we have the insula. So this is going opening up the full sylvian fissure. Normally you can just open up some up here to get down here. But, the, um, but if we zoom in, and just actually before we do, just take note of the orientation here, right? So this is the right eye, right side, this is the right eye, um, and this is inferior in this direction, superior, posterior, down here. So we're zooming in up at the front. So this is the most anterior portion of the temporal lobe, the anterior horn, um, and then uh, we, as we come in between here, this is where the sylvian fissure is, we can start to see the optic nerve. So let's zoom in further. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.